Hi, people on the internet. I imagine you've always wanted to create one of these super techie audiovisual projects, but information can be difficult to find and isn't always consistent. Well, I'm here to do my best to create a practical touch designer 101 series for all the basic concepts in the program. Chapter number one, what is touch designer? Let's start by talking about what touch designer is and how you can use it to create and manipulate visual, multimedia, interactive, light projects, and so on. In short, Touch Designer is a versatile tool that functions as a visual programming language based on nodes. What does that mean? Okay, it means you can connect blocks of information without necessarily using programming code called operators to create whatever you have in mind. It's like a playground where imagination meets technology, empowering artists, designers, and programmers to collaborate and bring their creative visions to life in dynamic and engaging ways. Before we continue, it's incredible that so many of you have decided to watch and subscribe to my channel. I've now surpassed my first 100 subscribers on YouTube, which is beyond my expectations. I started this channel just two weeks ago, and I never imagined we'd reach this milestone so quickly. Thank you for watching my videos. However, I'm surprised that 73.3% of people who watch this video haven't subscribed yet. My goal this year is to reduce that number to at least 50%. If you appreciate what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. It would help me continue sharing and creating the best tutorials possible in Touch Designer. Thanks. Chapter number two, understanding operators. In Touch Designer, nodes are called operators. I want you to remember this well, because from now on, we're going to refer quite a bit to the operators. These operators can be starting points, connections, or endpoints in your project. Imagine for a moment that you have a set of Legos. Each Lego has its own shape, or we could say its own function. And each Lego can serve as a bridge to connect with another until you have a more complex structure. Programming with operators is the same. Each operator has a specific function, and by interconnecting with other operators, we can create a more complex structure. For instance, the noise operator generates random numerical values. By itself, it couldn't do much. If we connect the noise operator to another operator that converts these numbers into an image, and then connect this image to an operator called displacement, we already have our first visual effect. In fact, this is the first example you encounter when opening Touch Designer, and the result is an image that moves like ocean waves. What's interesting is that if you take a look at the pattern of the red line, you'll see it's the same pattern that distorts this image. I call this concept parameter modulation, and it's super important to understand in Touch Designer because we're always interchanging different types of data. Just like in this example, I suggest you don't try to follow these steps right now because I'm just explaining brief concepts. Chapter number three, operator types. There's a wide range of operators available in Touch Designer, each with a unique identifier color. Take a look at this table. You have a total of six families of operators. Comp operator, top operator, chop operator, sop operator, mat operator, dat operator. Each family of operators has specific functions and you can also create your own operators or custom objects. Let's talk about the three operators families I consider myself the most used. Texture operators, also known as TOPS. Texture operators are image operators that execute real-time image calculations through GPU processing. They're useful for various tasks like texture preparation, compositing streaming images, and playing movies. Understanding GPU textures as any computational process that displays pixels on the screen, whether they're still or in motion, provides valuable context. Channel operators, also known as chops. Channel operators allow us to process numerical values to create animations, analyze audio, perform mathematical or logical calculation, and send data of various types from MIDI to DMX. They are the operators that enable us to create logical sequences for various purposes. Surface operators, also known as SOPs. Surface operators are components that facilitate the creation, manipulation, and integration of any kind of 3D surfaces also known as geometry. These surfaces include diverse forms, such as 3D points, polygons, lines, particles, surfaces, spheres, and metaballs. Chapter number four, interoperability and integration. In my experience, one of the key reasons I gravitate towards Touch Designer is its impressive interoperability. This feature enables seamless integration with a wide range of devices and data formats. Virtually, you have no limitations. And if you think you'll need to use another program to solve something, think twice because most things we can do directly in Touch Designer. As someone deeply involved in interactive projects, I particularly appreciate the ability to link up Touch Designer with microcontrollers like Arduino or the ESP8266. Additionally, the flexibility to integrate with various APIs 
such as stable diffusions for AI projects or webhooks. For rapid data transfers via web protocols, adds another layer of versatility. So I'm going to mention the official list of integrations that Touch Designer offers us. I hope you don't find it boring, but from my point of view, keeping this in mind is what will allow us to navigate through different projects and creative fields. In summary, Touch Designer is a versatile visual programming language used for creating real-time multimedia content. It allows artists, designers, and developers to build interactive installations, audiovisual performances, and complex generative art by connecting nodes called operators. These operators handle various tasks such as image processing, 3D rendering, and data manipulation. Without the need for traditional coding, Touch Designer integrates seamlessly with other software and hardware making it a powerful tool for crafting innovative, interactive experiences. Its node-based interface makes it accessible for beginners while offering depth for advanced users.